Hi guys. guys, and welcome to a Disney World, Disney Springs, and Typhoon Lagoon vlog. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I am Corey. And welcome to our Disney Springs and H2O Glow Night vlog. Yay. H2O Glow Night was the whole reason why we booked this July trip mm -hmm. to Disney because we've always wanted to I've do the water parks like at night in one of the H2O Glow Nights. We love the water park on every single vacation that we do. Must. Essential. Like it's always a must do for us. And I was saying to Corey, I'm itching to see what the H2O Glow Nights actually Absolutely. look like. Yeah. So we're going to take you all along. We're also going to Disney spring tonight we're gonna do chicken guy for dinner do some shopping so if you didn't see the vlog before this we actually spent the morning and all day in Epcot so we're gonna I can ask have you to that. pause X out of this, I mean, go, go to watch that the one, other one, then come back. Then here. come back. But either way, we're so excited to have you. Make sure if you are new to the channel to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming Disney vlogs. But we are so excited. And I have to say, I feel like this weather is, so, it's been so hot today yeah. in a good way. It's not like un, what was the word we used? Unbearable. Like it's yeah, not. It was never that. No, it's not extremely unbearable, but it's definitely hot. So I'm really excited to actually see going to a water park at night what it's like because I like a night swim but I'm excited to do the rides we have the GoPro so we'll take you all along on our evening but I asked on my Instagram if you guys want to be separated and you said that you did so here is the two vlogs so without further ado let's head to Disney Springs also look at our view behind us we are at Saratoga Springs in a one bedroom and I don't know if you can can you see the hot air balloon or is it there it is so we have a beautiful view of the hot air balloon but let's actually go and walk to Disney Springs and go to chicken guy and let's come along for a fun evening get the three chicken chicken strips or whatever it is combo with fries and then I get the buttermilk ranch and the special sauce with a nice crispy chicken guy diet coke and then Corey what did you get you got, I got a the hot honey chicken sandwich and have you ever had it before no, I and you made it a combo too yep try it let's see how it is that was a good first bite <laughs> Oh, there it is. You get a lot of the honey to start, but then the thick is in the Oh, and like then oh, it's there. spicy? Yeah. Tyler, what'd you get for dinner? I got spicy strips with mac and cheese. Oh, that looks good. Meg, what did you get? I got the buffalo. Oh, good. Fried pickles. Oh, I've never had those. I'm gonna have to try one. And fries, yep. and they, you guys got a ton of sauces too. Okay, yes. We are going in, I, I have to say, I love chicken guy chicken tenders because they're like, not a little tender. Like they're a big, like chicken breast tender basically. So we're going in with the special sauce. This gives like, almost like Big Mac Chick-fil-A sauce vibes. This one. Oh, the buttermilk ranch. I'm a ranch girl. Through and through. I think they're fairly new. <laughs> So I think they're trying to get to like highly populated areas. I love this ramp because it has so much dill in it and I am like a dill girl. Comment down below, do you like dill? I like love dill, but we're gonna enjoy a nice dinner and then we'll check in with you guys when we finish. The essentials. Dinner was delicious. We just beat out some of the rain and now we are in the Joffrey's at Disney Springs for two reasons. One, 
We always like to bring bags of coffee home, so Corey will always pick one up when we come to Disney Springs. Megan also wants a coffee before Typhoon Lagoon, and then Megan wants to get some bags of coffee to bring home, so let's go see which ones they're picking. I think Corey picked one, and Megan was gonna pick one, and Tyler was gonna pick one. All right, let's see. Megan has three bags in her hand. What flavors did you pick? Okay, so my honey bunny selected. Oh, shaky Jamaica. Jamaica. Yep, Jamaica me crazy. That's it's the one you had so in the park today. today. Yep. And I selected this one. I oh, mean, that's the a good one. is just so pretty. A hundred percent. What's this one? Vanilla. Vanilla oh, and custard and, and caramel. I know. Perfect for and our princess this one day. Is for Donald. That one I thought of you. Coffee cake, Coffee cake is your cinnamon. favorite. Coffee cake and yeah. cinnamon. And then Perfect. what am I going to get for right now? Because you know, <laughs> yeah, you need an actual coffee now. And Corey, our honey picked. We have the Tiana Bayou beignet, which oh, comes see. with aromatic um, of notes of honey and powdered sugar. Oh, like let's see. Beignet. Tiana's Bayou beignet. Sounds delicious. I feel like that's definitely a you kind of coffee. Oh my God, like not too delightful. sweet, but not too strong. You yeah. Touch the powder sugar. Like a nice little something. So yeah. we're gonna get some bags of coffee, and that's why we brought backpacks so we could transport our coffee. Finished at Disney Springs. It is time check. 7:28. The party starts at 8, which is perfect because there was this like random blip of rain. Yeah. Like literally, it formed it out of nowhere. Literally just went shoot through over. And we were like, so um, I hope this passes. We're going to the water parks, and it did. Thank God. So we are good so to go. Weird. We are headed to Typhoon Lagoon now. Like I said, you can get in as early as six, but we weren't like rushing. We wanted to enjoy the night and they've never been to Disney Springs. So we wanted to actually bring them and get to relax and enjoy. Now we just need to find, where's our bus? Right here. Does number it say? One. Oh, one. perfect. So we're on number Tech one. It looks like everyone is ready to get on the bus and go to the water park. It looks like there's actually like a long list of people. So it looks like everyone's probably very excited for an H2O glow night because you always have to transfer at Disney Springs. So. Let's go to Typhoon Lagoon. told us to do b-roll and this is not going to be b-roll. <laughs> I think. Oh, look at the lazy rev. Who's ready to get their swim on? <laughs> we have made it to Typhoon Lagoon H2O Glow Night. We've got our necklaces lit up. Fam is over here. We're getting ready to <laughs> go and get on some water rides, which means that we are going to transfer over to the GoPro. Now, I don't know what this vlog is gonna entail because it's really hard to talk into the GoPro, especially when there's a lot of like water involved. So we will see, but let's go have a really fun evening at Typhoon. So far, chairs a little chaotic. Wish that they kind of cleaned up a little bit of the chairs before, like the swap over, but it was really easy. We actually are right in front of the wave pool where normally Corey and I rent. An umbrella we just put four chairs kind of together in a little circle so that it was a little bit easier for us to have some privacy for all of our stuff and we are good to go we're ready for a fun evening at typhoon so welcome to the typhoon lagoon h2o glow night i'll do my best to try to go between gopro and camera but GoPro's all I have, so fingers crossed, but let's go have a good time. I also don't think that I mentioned, H2O Glow Night is a separate ticketed event that is from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. on like really hot nights during the summer. Wanted to mention that, now let's go in the wave pool.
park. I didn't talk to the vlog once, so you just got a lot of B-roll. You can hear probably happily ever after right behind us because they're playing it as everyone leaves, but we're gonna do a full recap when we get home, but quick rating, 10 out of 10. Oh, 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10, Tyler? I'll go in the middle of 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, Corey? 75 out of 10. All right, we all have really high ratings, which is lovely, and we will check in when we actually get back to the hotel, but it was so fun, so, so, oh, I actually could go for a last minute ice cream. A party with unlimited Mickey ice cream sandwiches is a party for me. We made it into Disney Springs because we're walking back. Look at the Ever After store with the stuffy mirror and the chair. That is like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, so yeah, we're going to Uni. Disney Springs, let me tell you, there is nothing better than being at Saratoga Springs and being able to Found walk him. back to your, was Uniqlo open? Yeah, they were closing in 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. There is nothing better than being able to actually walk from Disney Springs right back to your hotel. No bus, no transportation, no nothing. It's beautiful out, but I wanna see if I can really quickly get into Uniqlo and see, also sorry I'm so blurry you guys, not very good here. See if they have any of the older Star Wars t-shirts because I really, really like them. I'm also leaving my family behind because I'm moving my legs a little fast. And sorry that this is like a little bit of a chaotic vlog. We were just having a really nice time enjoying each other. So let's go into Uniqlo, let's see the t-shirts they have. All their Star Wars shirts are like literally $9. So let's see what we can find. I might get one because I definitely want one. So let's see what they have. Well, well, hello everyone. We are freshly showered back in the room and ready for bed. It is 12:14 a.m. We keep going, getting and going to bed so late, but we have just had two busy days. Our travel day was late and today was a late day. Mr. Bear is here snuggling and ready for bed as well. But I wanted to do a quick little recap on the Typhoon Lagoon H2O Glow Night. Give my initial reviews. Corey and I have kind of decided that we're probably gonna do an entire podcast dedicated to it so that's a little bit more in depth. But Sparknote version, I thought it was an absolute blast. I think it was so fun to be able to go in the summer and be there at night. I also thought it was really fun with friends. I liked that we were able to go with family and it was four of us versus just Corey and I. I felt like we got a lot more just out of the event in general because we got to kind of switch off riders and people do different things, so I really loved that. And I also thought that the fun music and the techno lights was just a blast. So I really, really enjoyed it. I will say one thing that surprised me though was a lot of the wait times were like, I would say average, like pretty long, like longer than I anticipated. And Corey and I go to the water parks a lot and we're normally never waiting in lines that feel that deep or that steep back even during a regular park day. However, maybe I'm just a little bit in my head because we haven't been to a water park in probably like six months to a year. So maybe I'm just like, I'm not as, I don't know, well versed in it more recently. But either way, I really did think it was great. I would give the event as a whole like an eight out of 10, I would say. There were a few things that I wish were a little bit different. Popcorn was kind of stale. Not really much like snack and drink, easy access. However, the rides were fun. We got really cool little cute bracelets. They decked out the park in really cool glow stuff, which I really enjoyed. But overall, I thought it was great. And then because we are staying at Saratoga Springs, we have the ability to be able to walk right from the bus station back to our hotel. 10 out of 10, recommend to a friend. Couldn't like recommend it enough. It was just, it was perfect because we are technically in the Disney Springs section of Saratoga Springs. Like our room looks out over Disney Springs, but I wanted to do a quick haul of everything that we got today slash just got in general because I feel like it was a little bit like what we got in this segment of the vlog. So the Tiana Bayou Beignet coffee from Joffrey's, this was Corey's choice. And I actually think this is a really, really good choice. Ooh, there's some coffee grounds on it. So maybe I just have to be careful. There might be, yeah, that little hole in the top, but this smells delicious. And I think it's gonna be a really great blend. So we got this at Joffrey's and we used our annual pass discount for it. And then next, I actually got my second new emo and I got a cute little poo new emo. I really wanted to be able to put him on my bag I love him. I think he's so cute. I love my Mickey new emo. Carter and I got them on our trip in May this past year and I love my Mickey so I thought the poo was a great little addition. And then I did get a new hat. Corey and I have been looking at this hat and we both loved it so I was like, you know what? Perfect excuse to be able to get it. I saw it online a while ago and I just loved it but it's this classic kind of vintagey looking Mickey with the M. And then on the side, let me look for it, it says 
Walt Disney World, which I love. And I love the navy and the tan. Like, I really enjoy that. Love that it's a little bit more neutral. And then, as we were leaving Disney Springs tonight, me and my sister-in-law ended up picking up these gorgeous Disney Starbucks tumblers. So it has the four parks. It has Animal Kingdom, the Tower of Terror, the Big Magic Kingdom, and the Epcot Ball. And then right here, the Starbucks emblem. And it's fun that now we have matching cups that we're able to take home together. So that is everything we got. Oh, I also got Carter a, a figment t-shirt, but that's in like another bag. I think it's a little bit farther away. I'm not exactly sure where Corey put it, but with that being said, thank you so much for following along. I don't know if this is a long vlog, a short vlog, a chaotic vlog as they normally always are, but I promise tomorrow it'll be a full Hollywood Studios day and it's going to be a little bit more normal in terms of our Disney vlogs and the way that Corey and I do our Disney vlogs. I also did not mention we are not doing our top three favorites on this trip just because we're doing that with my sister-in-law and her boyfriend at the end of the night and just relaxing and doing it versus sitting and filming kind of a long one. However, on the last day with them, we'll ask them their three favorites of the entire trip and we'll make sure that we do that. So make sure if you have not already to give the video a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming Disney videos. But I love you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow at Hollywood Studios. Thanks so much for being here and I can't wait to see you in the next one.